Dude, what happened to this thing? Oh my god, it burst up in flames! What's up guys? Welcome back to Exhaust Note Channel. If you're new here, I'm Johnny Rodriguez. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Help a brother out. Help me grow. Help me shine. I uh, definitely want to keep making these videos for everybody. I appreciate all the positivity from friends and of course uh, followers alike. I appreciate you guys for uh, any comments below and likes and shares. Uh, today I'm going to head over to RSP Automotive Solutions. See my boy Miguel. Uh, if you don't know him, he runs a really good shop and does a lot of work, custom work on cars, uh, regular maintenance, you know, this guy's got some good experience, does a lot of tuning and custom tuning stuff too, with a lot of German products, uh, now he's a pure turbos, uh, uh, I guess a dealer, you know, to do installs for pure turbos, if you guys are looking, RSP Automotive Solutions, uh, check him out on Instagram, uh, uh, he's got a website I believe too, Facebook, you'll, you'll find him. Uh, anyways, I'll be there shortly. I'll get you the phone number, listing, everything like that. Today we're going to do the oil change. Man, this thing is dusty. Look at this. <laughs> we're going to get this oil change done here because it says all is low, add a quart. I know what that means. That means I'm burning through some oil as I normally do because of this tune. does burn through a little bit of oil. Uh, BMW engines, I think they uh, tend to like to burn a little bit of oil anyway, especially the V8s, even though this is the inline six. But... Uh, we're gonna head that way, so I got a couple errands to run, so we'll be over there shortly. Guys, check out this uh, sweet little, what is this, a C1 Corvette? Pulling up next to me here. Ah, uh, look at this thing. It's pretty sweet. Nice. You don't have that split window one. I think that one's like the most rare. But that's pretty sweet though. Sounds good too. And we're here, boys and girls. Check this thing out with the bronze wheels. Just powder coated these. How sick does that thing look, huh? What happened here? Jeez, that thing looked like it was in a fire if you guys can see the inside. Yeah. Dude, what happened to this thing? Oh my god, it burst up in flames! <laughs> Guys, look at this crap. Look at this thing. Oh my god. That is horrific. Melted everywhere. That's gonna be a big project to fix. Looks like you gotta replace all kinds of shit in here, man. Ooh, man, look at this. I don't know if the camera's adjusting here, but it's just nasty. Exterior looks all right though. I mean, it looks like it didn't. It didn't take it much on the outside though. Look at the roof. Oh yeah, you can see it. Paint bubbled out. Ooh, it's like it's gooey. Nasty. Well, that's a bit of a project. Even after you fix it, that thing's probably gonna. Oh uh, man, like the air vents and stuff. I wonder if it's gonna have like soot and shit in it. It's gonna be nasty. Anyways, I gotta I gotta pull this in the garage. Let's get back in. This is just <laughs> Bro, you keep making it louder. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, he's hit. He destroys me if he race. I get destroyed by that RS3. That's just a regular OS7. So, I ain't gotta worry about that. But that would destroy me. That's efficient mode. Efficient. You hear the rattle? I'll fix it. You know that's always back. Yeah, we gotta get that front lip off. It's in quiet mode. <laughs> you guys see that little rattle? Yeah, that's that's like an ongoing thing with this uh, with this car. Like eventually bolts start loosening. I guess it's from all the pops and cracks. There she goes. 
There's another little RS3 up top here. Check out this thing. M3 right here. And this is pretty sweet. Who's is this? It's got, this is the one with the diamond. Oh yeah, it's diamond. I've yeah. seen this before. Who's is this? Uh, diamond supercharge and everything. Really? Yeah. Let me pop it. Wow. Yeah. This is this is for this. I'm gonna make it a manual car. Oh, this is the one you're converting to a manual. Yeah. Oh, look at that, huh? Impressive. Woo. Got a belt. It's got a belt in there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not that's not for AC. <laughs> wow, that's pretty impressive. Man, what is all this? Oh, is that what is this here? What is this big old gap here? Is that where the battery goes or the ECU or something? I don't know what that is. This thing is clean, guys. This thing is super clean right here. The dining exhaust on it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this guy's right now. I'm going to do some work on mine. Dude, look at this. This is one of the coolest intake systems they got for these cars right now. Look at this. No headlight. Real deal, actual holes. And look at this thing, carbon fiber, even to her, even to her. He's a Motul guy, he's got the Motul products in here, as you can see. Motul. Put the sweet wheels on it. This thing looks great. This thing's a little rockets, man, when you're freaking tuning. Witness the work right there, look at him. Down and dirty. Down and dirty underneath that car. This is so low. And the car is too low, so you gotta put blocks on it before you can get bills underneath it. <laughs> As you can see, look. Look at this side. It's got it up on blocks. Doesn't fit. Well, I need a tire here. Let's do some more inspections from when I hit that item. Looks like this. Oh yeah, look, it took the bolt. Yeah, it like broke the bolt right there. Is that it? And then it, it broke the block. You had to put something here to lift it. It was missing that rubber block that they have right there. Oil dripping, almost done. And then we gotta take this um, off. That's uh, damage to hell right there. Ah, hit my head. Yeah, this thing is. It's, talk, it's talking while I'm driving. It's no good. Front tires are still golden. These ain't old anyway. I got these not too long ago, so they're plenty of tread. So we're gonna have to replace this one. Or should I just fork it up and replace both of them and get 295s? What do you guys think? Maybe I should just get 295s instead. Just well, what I would do is I will keep this one as a spare. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that one because it's free and then order some 295s. And we gotta tighten this uh, exhaust, <laughs> whatever's rattling. So. Well, we found the culprit of my exhaust, guys. I got a crack right here. You see that? Damn, look at that crack. Oh, that's quiet. Oh, look at that, man. Damn. Or, I mean, I don't think that's what's, I don't know if that's Yeah, I'm gonna go through rattling. that. I think it's, it's still. Oh, we gotta get that replaced. That should be, that'll be factory warranty. Cause this is uh, from factory, so. Who's that? Is that rear diff le leaking, you think? Look at this. Oh. Yep, your CV boot is done. Look. 
It's leak. Oh, come here. That's something else you're gonna have to get replaced. What's that? Look. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. Got some, got some leaks right there. Ooh. Yep, back to the dealer it is. Back to the dealer, back to the dealer. Wow. Couple leaks. It's bound to happen, man. Nothing else, really. No other leaks that I see. So that muffler's got to get replaced. Just as I talked good about her a few days ago, talking about she hasn't given me any problems, but now I got a cracked muffler. I got a leaking rear diff, it looks like. And eh, I just need a tire. That's that's kind of normal. So there you have it. The minor problems of the M Life. Good thing it's still warranty. So we'll be able to get the warranty done. Down she comes, baby. Down she comes. I'm gonna fill up the oil. And we're gonna have to bring her to the dealer now. Damn it. Gonna have to take this thing to the dealership and get all these other things replaced. So that kind of sucks. Guess I'll be in a loaner for a little bit because I would imagine they're probably gonna have to order all that stuff. There's no way to have a M Performance exhaust in the parts department. There's no way they have a rear diff in the parts department. <sighs> and I don't even know about the tire. That's uh, that's another that's another thing. The tire, who knows. Yeah, ethanol. <laughs> That's ethanol. <laughs> Next time around, I'll put the multiple in. Yeah. You gotta give me a. They never have it in stock in the area, so I gotta get it. From Orlando, nice. my other warehouse, so that'll help out a little bit better with the with that at home. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Checking this uh, yesterday morning. That's good. Yeah, so that's good. that's crazy that it keeps. Like, that's already the second time. This is the second replaced one I've had. Internally, it's it broke right? inside. Yeah, uh, that's another thing I got to do to Dom's. I'm doing an upgraded one. Oh, uh, the CSF or is that one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if I do end up keeping this, then you know, I'll do all the, I'll get all those upgrades done. Cause it's you know. You got to do it here, especially. It's just they get to bottles. There we go. There it is. Guess we're just gonna rivet this thing for now, huh? Oh, I see it like. Oh, I see this part though. <laughs> it's separated from it. This is still not too bad to have, so it doesn't. I don't be hitting this part <laughs> or this. This at least protects protects those pieces for now until I buy another one. Still, anybody wants to sponsor? <laughs> front lip. I'll take a sponsor. Front lip, guys. I'll take a sponsor. Front lip. You let me know. I'll be happy to. Do a, an excellent review on your product for you. She's thirsty. She's thirsty for oil now. <laughs> All to the dealer next. Got to head to the dealer, get this tire replaced, get the muffler replaced, I'm assuming, 
Uh, you can't just weld that. At least I hope that's not what I think they would do. And uh, I guess they're gonna have to take a look at that leak on the rear grip. Maybe it's just a seal or something, something simple. Or if it needs to be replaced, whatever. I guess they'll have my car for a bit, so. She'll be out of commission for a little while. Take a last look. Well, we'll do one more look when we get it to the other side. Time to get her out of here. Time to get her out of here. He's backing out the Audi. I'm gonna have to start her up. Run that oil through. Go for a little drive. Is this it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put it on the seat. how loud my car is until I let somebody else drive it. gassed up head to the dealership now so we can drop this thing off and uh, hopefully they'll fix everything at least the rear diff I don't know what they're gonna do about this muffler muffler is on my window sticker that thing being cracked it's kind of a known issue with them with the in performance uh, it's probably been cracked for a while but uh, I guess we'll find out see what happens see what they say and I got to get another tire well Florida never fails come from the green sky, blue skies, I just say green skies, to the darkness, as always, as I just washed my car <laughs> yesterday, so it's going to get all disgusted now, because I'm about to drive into this disgusting weather, on my way to the dealership, I love Florida, so I gotta say bye to her now. Let's see if we can get this to zoom in with the lighting. There she is, in service. She's gonna get work done. But look at my ride! What the hell? This is like puke yellow. The puke yellow X2 M Sport. That's my ride. Why couldn't they give me one of these cars? How about an Urus? How about an Urus, huh? For sale. Sale. Well, got me some lunch. My car is dropped off, as you guys saw. Got me some faux 99, a little uh, some faux for late lunch. Got the wifey some. So we're gonna chow down. And I got my loner, little X2. 
I know you guys saw the outside, this is the inside. I don't know if you guys ever seen these before. It's a weird seating position. Can't say that I like it a lot. It feels weird. I don't like the seat too much. But I'll tell you what, it's easier to vlog and drive because it's an auto. <laughs> so I can definitely drive this a little bit better. So we're gonna uh we're gonna head back to the house, man, and it's gonna be a while till I get any videos with my car because she's gonna be in the shop. They're gonna have to order a new muffler, which that is like five grand, I think. MSRP on those are that's pretty pricey. Those uh and performance exhausts, those are those are a lot of money. They gotta fix my rear diff, all under warranty, so that's awesome. So I'll get that repaired. Hopefully I'll get a new tire. And then then we'll uh We'll uh, see her when she gets back. Either way, guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, share. I appreciate you guys. I'm out.